Welcome. In front of me I have the OnePlus Nord CE for Lite and today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this device. Now before I get started with the actual bypass itself, I'm gonna quickly mention the required things that we'll need for this to work. So number one, we'll need network connection. That should be easy. And number two, more importantly, is we're gonna need a second Android device. Now, almost any Android device will function. I'll be using an absolute overkill for this one, which will be the brand new Honor uh, v Magic V3. Uh, but like I said, almost any device will work as long as it has Android and as long as it allows to draw over other apps. The second option is almost uniformly allowed on almost every Android uh, with the with the exclusion of like very very cheap devices that cost like hundred dollars for instance hundred and fifty dollars some of those depending on how old they are and how cheap will not allow you to enable this and it by default will be turned off from your access so in such a scenario uh, you will not be able to use such a device and the way you can obviously check it is by going and just downloading the application called phone clone so we're just going to search in play store for the app phone clone now we will be looking for the one that is made by oneplus uh, but if you have if you're going to be using something like an oppo device or realme no wait not realme uh oppo and uh, there's another one or might be realme uh, I can't remember whatever the other uh, company is that basically falls under the same parent company uh, They all look basically the same as you can see So if you have either one of those companies, you don't really need to download any app You can just open it up on your phone uh, Whatever it, version you have and it will work as These technically are the same applications. They're just labeled differently for different brands like the Oppo and uh, uh, and OnePlus, but in reality, it's the same exact application and I could download this one and it would work as well But anyway for this I am gonna download the one that I should so we're gonna download it next we're gonna select open and Here is where we will need to grant a bunch of different permissions. So see agree and continue Permissions required, uh, requires the following permission, uh, write, setting data. Okay, we're cool, we can enable that. We're gonna go back. Access to files, again, we're gonna enable that. Next one is like start migrating. Uh, display over other apps. This is the one that you might, your device in certain scenarios might not support. So if you try to do this, it will give you an error. And uh, this device obviously is well under the parameters of allowing this. Uh, but here we're gonna select the phone clone app and we're gonna enable it and then go back twice. If you manage to enable this, then that means that your phone uh, will work just fine for this process. Anyway, we're just gonna continue enabling everything that it pops up with. Uh, and with these kind of pop-ups, just select while using the app and allow. And we're good to go. So the camera is uh, opened on this phone right now, as you can see. So I'm gonna set it to the side, as this device is now prepped for uh, the by for basically bypassing here. Now let's grab our locked device, and here we can see that the device is locked. It's telling me to draw the verification pattern, and if I were to close this, it's going to tell me to put in my Google account. Now this process assumes that we don't know either one of those. So we're gonna back out to the Wi-Fi connection page right over here. Now this is if you already had the verification page visible. If you're at the beginning of the setup where you get to select your language and all that stuff and regions, then go forward through the setup till you get to the connect to Wi-Fi page and then connect to your network. Once you have done so, you will then want to click on the eye icon next to the connected network. Now I am gonna first showcase uh, network that I'm not connected to. So if I click right here, as you can see, it only gives me two options, signal strength and security. And if I do the same thing for the network that I am connected to, 
it has much more options right here that I can uh, access. One of those which we'll be utilizing is the share option right over here. So we're going to click on it. Now, before I click on it, I am going to mention I am going to block the view as it does provide a QR code. And I don't remember, but on some of those QR codes, you can also see a password. Just want to cover that up. So, yep, and this one is the QR code and the password. So anyway, once you have that visible right here, you want to select uh, quick share. I'm going to click on continue. Learn more. Right? Nope. Never mind. Not learn more. Where is it? Ah, settings from the three dots. And then we're going to click right here. Learn more about quick share. This shows us an article from Google. Here we're going to click again on the three dots and now we're going to select share article and you want to select Chrome. Click right here, use without an account. Nothing happens the first time around. The second one uh, you will tap, it will actually close this. So we're just going to do this again, three dots, share article and Chrome. This time around, we're going to click on no thanks and then right at the top you want to type hard reset that info slash bypass like so if you need a moment to write this down yourself do pause the video in a moment uh, this will load up the website so here uh, I'm gonna select continue with recommended whatever you want to scroll down and click on the settings up this opens up the phone settings from the browser and next we will select the home screen and lock screen option and then home screen layout. This will glitch the phone and bring us to the home screen. Now I do want to point out we are nowhere near done yet. Uh, the device is still locked and you can see we are missing buttons at the bottom as the device still thinks that we are in the setup process of it. So something to keep in mind right now. Uh, and this is also uh, the reason we wouldn't be resetting the device uh, through settings right now, as it would typically just unlock the device, but because it is still in what the device considers a setup stage, this does absolutely nothing. So instead, we're gonna swipe to the left. And here, I think here, yep, we have the phone clone app. You can see the black and red icon, click on it. And here you want to select that this is a new device. Allow, allow, allow. Just continue allowing it. Next, select that the other device is Android. And here is our QR code. Now we're going to grab the other device, the one that we have access to. And just point the camera for the QR code. And these two devices will now connect to each other. Connection failed for some reason. We're going to retry. That's odd. So this shouldn't be happening. So I am going to go grab a different device. Uh, it looks like there is another problem. Um, this one, I have no clue why I can't do this. It just, as you can see, fails copying. So I have no clue this is some uh, honor optimization or whatever it is. Uh, but it looks like this absolute overkill of a device uh, is not overkill enough because it doesn't work. So that's a bit disappointing. I'm going to look quickly if there's like anything here would be causing it, but there's nothing that I... I see that would be jumping out at me, so yeah. I'm gonna go grab a second device. Okay, chances are I might be using my own phone uh, as this one is turning on and something tells me that it's not even set up. So, well, it's not it's happening. I'm gonna quickly proceed with downloading the phone clone app. 
So yeah, this is still turning on. We're gonna see in a second if I can use this or not. Yep, it's in the setup state. Okay, so... Uh, my phone it is. Hopefully I get no messages in the meantime. I'm gonna quickly allow all, everything that I did already before. There we go. Connecting. Okay, so it's not disconnecting, great. We're gonna deselect everything right here. This could be the reason why it was disconnecting for some reason. So we're gonna continue being connected to this even though it has no network. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna deselect everything. And then you want to click on, quickly, see this? So we're gonna click on the apps at the bottom. So just scroll down, you'll find apps. And in here, just select any kind of uh, small sized application. Oh, there we go. So we have weather, uh, which has 18 megabytes. That's good enough for me. So that's what I'm gonna select. Click on check mark. Select start migrating. And it's finished. So I can grab my phone, move it out of the shot. And it's just finished copying over the application right here. You can click on the drop down and you can see that it's selected. Uh, that it failed apparently and moving it over click on resume and again you can see success uh zero failed one this has zero effect in both cases depending on which application you selected it might say that it failed or succeeded both will work so we're gonna select done now and you can see we're now back in the setup stage we're just a couple steps after the verification process so now i'm gonna select skip adding unlocking method later next continue i'm gonna select gestures just because it's my preference get started and we have now access to the home screen now there's one last thing that you need to do to fully unlock this device and that is now navigate to the settings scroll all the way down to Additional settings, again scroll down, select backup and reset, reset phone, erase all data, erase all data, and then click on the erase all data uh, for the second time. This will begin factory resetting your device and when done through settings after the setup is completed, uh, this forces the device to just remove every kind of protection, which would also include the protection that was uh, used as a verification method throughout the setup process, which at the moment right now is still on the device. So once you do that, it will go through a fully automatic reset. And once it's finished, you will be uh, back in the setup of your phone. And at that point, you can set it up in whatever way you want as it's going to be fully unlocked. Now, if you're interested in seeing me actually go through the reset of this phone, I'll be recording this as a separate video reset through settings. Uh, but like I said, when you go through the reset, it's fully automatic and there is not much to show there. So with that being said, hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.